Hi, I'm Stephanie Crabtree. I'm from Prepped and Polished Tutoring, and today I'm going to talk about what to do if you forget the equation on the SAT physics test. All right, you're ready for this test. You've studied, you know what to do conceptually, you know how those equations are going to act. But then you get to the test, you remember that you studied the equation for specific heat a long time ago. It was only one day in class and they're asking you for that equation on the test. What do you do? Because you can't remember what it is. Our first strategy for remembering the equation that you, you can't remember at, off the top of your head is unit analysis based on answer choices. You remember that equation for specific heat Some, had something with degrees Celsius and kilograms in it, but then you look at the answer choices and you realize that every single answer choice has units on it. And then you can figure out which variable goes where in order to get the answer. Our next strategy, after looking at the units, in the answer choices is something I like to call imagine through it. This is a conceptual test. So use your conceptual skills. Is, does that equation have a mass in it? Think through what that would involve. Does this pendulum equation require a length of the pendulum? Think what that would involve and what the graph would look like if you needed that in the equation. Our next strategy after you imagine through the problem is to use that extremely powerful concept that you learned right at the beginning of physics, free body diagrams. This is especially useful for force and equilibrium equations. You can't remember that equation, but once you draw that free body diagram, you'll be able to see how those forces interact with each other. So once you have the answer choices unit analysis, imagining through it, and the free body diagram, you're probably going to know what that equation is already. But let's say, worst case scenario, we're going to do the physicist problem. We're going to imagine through it using the variables that we do know. So known variables. And I'll give you a hint. This is sometimes how physicists derive their equations. They know that it has to have mass. They know that it has to have temperature. They know that it has to have some other variable and some other variable in it. And they want to know what the relationship is. So they put those together, they do their unit analysis, they imagine through it, they use their free body diagrams, and I'll tell you something, this almost always comes up with the correct answer. The only thing you're not going to have is those constants. One half mv squared, you might not get that one half, but you are going to get that conceptual behavior of the graph. You're going to get that shape of the graph completely correct. Good luck on that test. This is Prepped and Polished Tutoring. Subscribe to our channel if you like the video. And remember, you can get that equation if you take your time. Do that unit analysis. Imagine conceptually through the problem. If it's a force or equilibrium problem, use your free body diagram. And worst case scenario, take your known variables and put them together to get the conceptual behavior.